right guys, it is that time yet again and I cannot wait. Check this out guys, we have another epic mail call. We have one from Brandon over at Live or Diecast. We have another one from Bruce Zolo and then one from David Gibson. So I cannot thank you guys enough. I also wanna know how you sent a five pound package for less than six bucks. You gotta let me know because every time I send a package that's over one pound, automatically goes to like at least eight bucks i think i've only sent one package that was like five bucks and it was a small little individual box you got to let me know how you were able to get that price um because that is pretty cheap actually but before we get to that guys i wanted to give a huge shout out to ethan over at ethan's hot wheels collection on instagram uh, we were talking back and forth about his collection he's another mustang collector and he sent over his favorite casting which is the 2020 GT500 in yellow enamel, which is one of my favorites for this year and of course my favorite super of the year. So definitely go give him some support on his Instagram. He's gonna be trying to grow that as well as eventually starting a YouTube channel. So let's get his ball rolling. Also yesterday I scored some good castings. I finally got my hands on the Chase Copo Camaro. Check this out, this beautiful 69. Um, and then of course I did pick up the main line just for reference. Um, I do have the main line already, but grabbed a second one, but check that out guys. That is a huge difference. Now with the Porsche taken, that one looked very similar to the main line. Uh, the main line looks exactly like that, just a slight different shade of red. Um, but this one, you can see a huge difference between the two. But I was super excited to get that one. Also picked up some new M2s. You got the 68 Mustang GT in green. And you have the yellow C-stripe. Check this out, this one's actually a really nice color. Uh, so another new addition of the M2. And then I also grabbed the instigator of the 67 Nova. Check this one out. Look at that green flake. Now this one is nice. Has the beautiful red velocity stacks. Of course, I do love the gassers. This thing is just set up nicely. So I definitely didn't want to pass that one up. Um, and then my coworker actually hooked me up with the Corvette Z06 drag racer from the Boulevard series. It's Alex Laughlin's wicked Corvette, guys. Check that out. You have the massive blown motor right there. And then I do love the ghosted Hot Wheels tampo mixed into the blue metallic. You can see the H and the O kind of ghosted on there but that thing just looks wicked dual parachutes in the back the wheelie bar of course coming down the center but look at those wheels do you have the massive slicks in the back skinnies up front and then you have a very unique splitter in the front check that out have it on the card art but you also have it on the casting as well um, I'm not too sure what type of splitter or what benefit that gives. You guys got to let me know in the comments down below. Um, but things are evolving in a crazy way. Um, so I definitely need to know about that. But this Corvette is wicked. Of course, I did pick up the Dodge Charger Drift. That is new for L Case. I just didn't get this one the last time I went. I definitely do like the casting. You do have the black MC5s with a gold ring course it is the fire department hot wheel rescue series um, so definitely wanted to grab that one just for the collection of having l case so that's what i ended up picking up yesterday at fry's i was going to post the peg hunting video but uh, there really wasn't much content to it so we're going to go ahead and get straight to the packages guys we're going to start off with david gibson's right here it says letter in the envelope so definitely want to cut around that let's see what do we got right here it says Hello Jason, just wanted to send you a small package. That is not a small package. <laughs> As a thank you for all you do for the diecast community and for your service to the country. Thank you for all you do Jason. There is a bag for you, one for Kingnut and one for you and Kingnut to split. Again, thank you Jason, David Gibson, AKA Big Daddy Diecast. So awesome buddy, cannot wait to see what this is, but this is not a small package by any means. Go ahead and move this out of the way. I know King that's gonna be excited that he's getting something as well. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. All right, let's see, what do we got in here? Nice. All right guys, let's see, what is this? Two cars each. 
All right, so we got to split this up. It's like Mustang Hunter and King Nut. So let's put that off to the side. This one is for King Nut. So King Nut, there you go. You got one. We'll meet up and I'll hook you up with that one. And here we go. Mustang Hunter. Check out this packaging. Actually never thought about using Ziploc bags, but I might just do that. Check that out. First package. Let's see what we got. We have a 67 Camaro. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh, that is nice. Look at that. It's out of the Camaro's 50th. And it's red enamel. You have the yellow flames with the white tampo stripes running down the center as well as along with the flames. 67 Camaro tampos. Man, this thing is nice. Look at that. You got the chrome five spokes. Beautiful. What case is this out of? P case of 2017, it looks like. Look at that. Now that is nice. This is gonna be a great addition to my 67s. Looks like I only have a few. I got the two Worldwides. Where are my other ones? I know I got more. Oh yeah, I got the burnt orange one. I got the Kroger exclusive. And that's pretty much it. Not that many 67s, so nice. <laughs> this is another great addition to the Camaro lineup. So that is freaking sweet. Uh oh, we got some Corvettes here. Ooh, look at that. That is nice. Check this out, guys. It is a faster than ever Corvette Grand Sport in a beautiful yellow enamel. Check that out. Of course, you have the FTE wheels in gold. You have the black tampos. Of course, you do have the white 63 meatballs on the hood as well as the door. Look at that. Now, that is nice. Now, this is another color variation of the casting that I do have. Um, I do have these colors right here. I have the red, the beautiful ruby red, silver, the blue, Zamac, and that looks like about it for the coupes. And this is a beautiful color, man. Check that out. Especially in FTE, those ones are hard to find now. Next up, we have a, ooh, here we go. Look at this, you got the 70 Mach 1 in a nice red metallic. And then you do have the yellow C-stripe with a hint of an orange pinstripe. It's a lot of tampos going on here. The lower half black, of course, with the Mach 1 badging. You have the black MC5s with the chrome ring. And this one is the newer casting or newer tooling of the Mach 1 because you do have the plastic wing that's attached to the hatch as well as the black louvers. There you go, check that out. I don't think I have this one. Oh, I do have this one. Look at that. I completely forgot I had this color variation. So here we go, we have a second one. There we go, number two. Definitely didn't think I had that one. Next up, we have a 68 Cougar. Ooh, there we go. Nice, I do have this one, but it's a beautiful matte green with those nice orange and yellow flames. You have the dark gray MC5s. Definitely love this one. Of course, out of the Hot Wheels Flame Series, you can never go wrong with the Flame Series car. Um, I don't know where I put my Cougar. Um, here's the newer Cougar release. So, there we go. Ooh, here we go. Check this out, the 67 Pontiac GTO. Now that is beautiful, look at that. So this is out of the Hot Wheels Racing of 2012, but it is a black enamel. Of course, it does have the huge Hot Wheels flame deco, which I absolutely love. Do love this setup, check it out. You got the Hot Wheels banner right there on the front windscreen, and it is a nice red interior, look at that. So this is similar to the deco that I have for, is it my Chevelle? Yep. There you go, right there. So that is number nine. And this one's number 10. Nice. Now I gotta figure out which ones come before that. So check it out. Oh, that is nice, man. I love that. I knew that deco looked familiar. Next up, ooh, here we go. Look at this. 
Look at this 68 Nova in this beautiful metallic purple. Check out that flake. You have the nice orange flames with the black steelies with the yellow ring. Absolutely love those wheels. And of course, check that out. You do have some nice yellow stripes that kind of transition into the flames. Man, that is nice looking. Red interior, this color setup is just beautiful. Now I do have a collection of Novas, not that many, um, but I do have a few. Let's see, I got the green camo, the red camo, the golf, and I believe that is it. Got the 68 Nova red line, and this one. I know I have a couple other ones, but I do not have this one. But that is a beautiful color. Oh, look at this. Oh, the legendary judge. Check this out, guys. Out of the Hot Wheels City, you have a beautiful white enamel 70 Pontiac GTO. Not only is it a GTO, but it's the judge. You can see the legendary badge right there. Uh, it does have a nice orange and silver c-stripe going along there with a nice orange stripe going down the hood looks like it says 427 but the tampo shifts are a little off um, but it has a nice gray interior the chrome mc5s look at that orange base god that is nice i don't have any judges so this is my first goat that is a judge so that is freaking sweet Next up is, oh, oh my god, oh that is wicked, look at that 76 Mustang 2 Cobra, oh my god, that is nice, oh that is wicked, of course it is a beautiful Johnny Lightning and check this out, one of 2500 and it is called Where Are My Shades Metallic Yellow, check that out. That is nice. That color setup is beautiful. Look at that, the white interior, the white steelies, but check out the engine bay. They did it a nice satin black with the chrome motor sticking out there. Got the black louvers. God, this thing looks so good. Not only did I get this one, which is a beautiful plum purple, but this, oh my God, that is nice. And that is freaking sweet. I love that setup. Next up, we have a, ooh, here we go. Now, I do have this one, but it was the only one I've ever been able to find, but it's the Custom 67 Pontiac. Check this out. I love that Zamac finish, even though it's not a Zamac. Um, but I did find this last year at Fry's, and it was the only one I found, but it's out of the Muscle Mania for 2017. Now, from what I've heard, this was an actual... Um, guy that worked at Mattel this was his personal vehicle and they just made it into a casting and I believe this is the new one for the premium Boulevard set that came out of this one right there so I can't wait to find that one but look at that guys I love this one you have the huge OH fives in the back smaller ones up front and the black numberless meatball on the door Check that out. God, that is a nice casting. Uh, next up is, ooh, here we go. Another Wicked 68 Nova. Check this out. You have a beautiful orange enamel with the black flames. The nice chrome MC5s, black interior. And then you do have the 350 badge right there on the side of the dual black stripes. Check this out. God, that is nice. You can never, I, I swear guys, you can never go wrong with the Hot Wheels Flame, especially when it comes to a Nova, because Hot Wheels has always gotten the Nova right. Check that out. So man, that that is a awesome first package right there. Uh, next up, oh here we go, this is a big one. Oh man. Uh, this one says... Mustang Hunter. Cool. So, want to make sure this wasn't divvied up between myself and King Nut. Oh, and these are the new ones. Look at that. We got the new wave of mystery models. Check that out. And then this one. Ooh, which one's this? This one is 
number one so we got the mini cooper nice i gave mine away so i'm actually glad to get this one back in my collection this one let's see is number two nice so we got the lamborghini oh man we're gonna open this one up in a second and this one is number three so another porsche nice and you guys remember i just got that one so i'm not going to open up these two um but i will open up the lamborghini so let's check this out real quick oh there we go check that out oh that is nice look at that beautiful satin black with the italian stripes and of course the gold number two and these aero discs actually don't look too bad on this there we go check that out it's the lamborghini sesto elemento look at that red interior and look guys we have some headlight tampos nice that's all we ask when you do a casting like this just throw some tampos god that is a beautiful casting so in case you guys want to see what the porsche looks like i have it sitting over here in satin white so everything is finished in a satin mix this this go around you don't have any tampo work uh, except for the porsche badging and the striping of course um, but if only they put some headlights or maybe some just tail lights i think it would have been good so that is what number three's mystery model looks like uh next up oh this one's heavy oh we got some loose castings guys oh man look at this <laughs> oh that is beautiful check it out the 69 chevelle ss 396 look at this color oh my god that is beautiful beautiful metallic lime green check out the black tail lights you have the white pr5s with the white striping running down the side look at that We'll move this tank. This is an original matchbox from 1976. I actually looked it up. This is in great condition. Look at the tracks on this. Next up, what do we got? We have, ooh, here we go. We have another beautiful Chevelle right here. Looks like another 69. And it's in a black metallic. Look at that. You have the yellowish tan interior, gold stripe running down the side chrome five spokes and look at that that is beautiful i feel like i have this one but maybe it's not this one here we go we have a twin check that out so nice got a second one in the collection but still a beautiful cast and look at that flake next up we have Ooh, here we go now I do have this one, but this Mercedes AMG GT3 is just so wicked looking. Look at that. Beautiful gray metallic. You have the black J5s with the yellow ring and of course the nice racing livery with the red and yellow stripings. Look at that. You have the GT68 racing square on the door and as well as the hood. Look at that no matter if i have it or not guys i absolutely love this casting uh, i wish they i wish i could find more of them but here we go we have two of them now so that is really sweet might do a custom with one of them i'm not too sure because i actually really love this setup man it's good to have a second one guys there we go nice next up looks like we have another bundle of loose yeah oh tony hawk <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is nice. This delivery style. What is this van called? Uh, doesn't say, but you guys let me know in the comments down below which van this is, but check this out. Got the Tony Hawk's legendary birdhouse deco on here in this silver metallic. Look at that. You got the red tinted glass birdhouse deco right there on the hood. It looks like it has opening doors. Yep, not even gonna try to break that. <laughs> Look at that, that is freaking sweet. All right, and then we got one more. That's not a hot rod, check this out. 
That is a nice little casting right here. It looks like a little off-road ATV style car. And it is the Sahara Sweeper. Check that out. Man, this has a lot of potential for some really nice detailing. Check that out. Really nice brown enamel. And it looks like it says Sand Dogs D-Team. Nice. I like that. That is cool. Definitely do like that. Sweet. And then, oh man, we still have a lot more to go, guys. Uh, next little bundle right here. Let's see what we got. Ford GT Race, here we go. Beautiful blue enamel. Now I do have this one, but like I said guys, like I always say, it is good to have duplicates. And I learned that the hard way when I bought all of my Mustangs from 2010. Um, I only bought one of everything. So definitely a huge regret when I went and bought all these was I only bought one. Nice. Uh, next up looks like a little bit of an older card collector 1051 and it is ooh, look at that do I have that I don't have that check that. oh man oh that is nice the 65 Mustang convertible check this out yep the black enamel with the orange flames gold five spokes and this is the older tooling with the opening hood look at that so it is actually very hard for people to send me a Mustang I don't have. Um, but these are my convertibles right here. I do have some other ones mixed up with ones that Grandpa Larry sent. I think they're over here maybe. Um, if not, they are in here. And if not, they're in one of those boxes. But I do not have this one. For sure do not have this. But that is, man, that is nice. All right, next up, we, uh-oh, we have the Zamax, the 2018 Zamax wave right there. Check this out, the 67 Coupe. Now, I do have this one, but, man, that is just a nice casting. And I wish they brought the Zamax series out, because this was a full series, and I do have all of them. Check that out. He had eight Zamax out of the 2018 50th anniversary release. And that is nice. You have the black steelies, red chrome trim, the flames, orange tinted glass. God, that is nice. Next up, check this out. That is crazy. Look at that. You have the all terrain, the Lakester. Oh man, especially with the Moon Eyes livery. Check that out. This is out of 2003, collector number 178. Look at that. I didn't know Moon Eyes was doing decos for Hot Wheels that long. You have the nice yellow enamel, the Moon Eyes tampos, of course, Hot Wheels, the number 35, the huge chrome PR5s. Look at that. That is freaking cool. Nice. All right, next up it says a wheel swap and custom I did. Ooh, nice. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. You got the Shelby Cobra 427 SC. Look at that satin silver. Now that is nice. And you have the satin black interior. This is a custom? Wow, that looks good. God, that looks really good. Look at that finish. Oh, I love that and I love that you kept the original five spokes on there which is what you mostly see on this tooling look at that that is a nice finish right there this almost looks like the I think it's the Kmart exclusive uh, well very similar to the satin finish but look at that God, that looks good I think this finish looks better than the flat gray um, even though that one's a little bit different, check that out. That is beautiful, man. And next up we have, uh-oh, we got the Boss 302. Check out, oh man, those actually look really good on that. It's the RTR, but man, those wheels should have came on this casting. Look at that. 
just had some little stuff on the hood, but look at that. God, that looks so much better. Oh man, now that screams RTR right there. That white just makes the lime green just pop. Oh man, that's such a simple swap, but it looks so good. Look at that. You went from the small slotted five spokes to these beautiful PR5s. Look at that. Oh, that is so much better. I would have never thought about putting those wheels on there. Look at that looks good that is what I love about doing some customs like that just some simple wheel swaps guys can definitely change a casting and just make it so much better look at that it should have came like that for sure all right next up we have another looks like some loose castings uh oh I hear some metal hoods Ooh, look at that this is a nice little stock car right here. Check that out. Look at this blue metallic. Oh, that is nice with the Hot Wheels deco right there on the side. This is the doesn't say. Nice. But I'm guessing it's just the the stock car, but you have some nice chrome OH5s, the white flames, the orange interior and the number 13. Check that out. God, that blue is beautiful. That is a nice casting. Look at that. The way the front has those nice curves to it. Definitely like that. That is nice. Next up we have... Ooh, there we go. Check that out. That is a beautiful green. And this is the 72 Gran Torino. Beautiful green metallic. Look at that. Got the tail light detail. The light green striping running down the center. It's kind of ghosted if you see the angles a little bit different. Chrome five spokes, chrome interior. Man, that thing is really good looking. Look at that, you got the black grill. I don't know if you did that yourself, but if you did, man, that made it just look so much better. That is nice, love that color. Look at that, just sitting right there has a really nice shade to it. All right, next up we have, uh-oh, ooh, look at that. Got the old Corvette race team. Oh, now that is sweet looking. Oh, look at that, you have open tail lights. That's unique. Look at that, the number one, the chrome five spokes. I think I have this one carded, original carded. And I never noticed that the tail lights were open like that. That is nice. So now I don't. Now I have it loose. Check that out. Uh, next up, oh check it out. <laughs> we got the Shelby 427 opening hood with the fighter jet on the side. Check this out. Now I do have this one carded. And there we go, guys. I got it loose. Ah, <laughs> nice. Oh man, so when I finally do get a massive display for loose castings, I can actually have stuff like this in there. Uh oh, and here we go, what is this? Ooh, look at that. This is the Custom 64 Galaxy. And look at this light green metallic, that is nice. You have the, it's either an off-white or a silver striping tampo running along the side as well as the hood, white interior. Look at that. That is a nice casting too. Man, I think I have this one in a satin finish. Right there, the satin black with the yellow flames. There we go. Maybe I'll move that Chevelle out of the way and put this bad boy in there. Last one from the little bundle. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is nice. The Selene S7. Look at that. Oh, that is wicked. You have the black enamel, the black OH5s with the yellow ring. And you do have the silver and yellow striping. And God, this thing is nice. Look at that. Dual silver stripes running down the center outlined in yellow. Oh, that's freaking wicked. So now I can add it to my three. Celine's that I have so I need to find 
another case like this so I can actually display it with those. God, that looks good. Look at that. Oh man, that's nice. Uh, looks like the last bundle. Let's see, what do we got in here? We got an old blue card right here. Oh, no way. Oh, dude. Nice. You got the blue radio flyer wagon. Look at that. Out of 2006, collector 151. Check this out. You have the blue metallic. Oh, that's sweet because I actually have the one up here. Where's it at? Where's it at? Ah, yes. So I have the red and now I have the blue. Heck yeah, man. I seen this at the antique mall and they just wanted way too much for it. And I was like, oh man. And the card was all messed up. The blister was broken. Look at this. Oh, that's sweet, man. And this is in really good shape. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. Uh, next up we have, it looks like the Ford Bronco. Here we go. Card's a little messed up. That's A-OK. -okay. I do actually have a couple of these. But I love these custom Broncos. Check that out. This is out of the newer Then and Now series. I think this was what, H case? Yeah. So. I do have these in my Broncos set right here. You can see I have the blue one, uh, the older red, the new 21 Bronco, and the Matchbox purple Bronco. So since I do have this one and this card's a little messed up, I will open this up and actually do a really cool custom with this one. So awesome for that, but God, that is sweet. All these are freaking amazing. And then right here, guys, it looks like we have, ooh, look at that. Got the custom 15 Mustang in red enamel. Check that out. Now I do have this one. I actually have these in two different variations. Uh, you have the number 15 with the black tampo, and then you have the number eight. So this makes number two for this particular variation. Um, but you do have the black J5 with the blue chrome ring. Love the casting. You do have the blue heat extractors right there on the hood. Very, very nice casting. But like I said, a lot of my Mustangs that I have, I only have singles of. So it is really good to get my hands on some duplicates. So let me just make sure that is everything in here. Looks like that is all. This one right here, we're going to have to split up between myself and king nut so i might just meet up with him we'll actually split that up together um, but king nut here's your package and then when we meet up we'll split these amongst each other so it's two for you two for me buddy um, and then of course you do have these so freaking awesome guys look at this guys we've got some mystery models the lamborghini sesto elemento um, look at that just awesome the Mustang 2 Cobra just some awesome casting so David thank you so much man uh, we're gonna go ahead and move these off to the side so next package is from Brandon over at live or die cast I don't know what we got in this box but we're gonna go ahead and see alright guys let's see what Brandon sent us today uh oh it's like a step-by-step -step thing. It says, what is up my friend? Hope all is well out in Arizona. In this box are a few things I would like you to have. A couple of Camaro wheel variations. I noticed you had one that was different, so now you have three variations of this casting. Nice. Two, your twin mill killer should be safe back in your hands if you're reading this. Thanks for sending it to compete for Race Wars King of the 573. Uh, number three, the old Shelby. I found it at my favorite antique store and it had your name all over it. It's rough, but it's so cool. Restore it or keep it or keep the patina. It's totally up to you. It's rough, but to cool, but too cool to leave behind. The soap and candle are handmade, hand poured by me using the best all natural ingredients I can get. Since you have a weekly show, Cars and Coffee, I figured the cold brew coffee bar would be perfect, nice, enjoy. Last but not least, thank you for being such a positive force in the diecast community slash family and for always showing live or diecast your support. It's much appreciated, buddy. Stay safe, happy hunting. 
Sincerely, Brandon Murray at Live or Die Cast. Check that out. Brandon's always been a good, good guy in the community, and I'm glad to have uh, met him. He actually reached out to me on Facebook, and that's how we became uh, good buddies. And yeah, we've gone from there. So here we go. We got the cold brew. Let's give this a nice little smell here. Ooh, that smells good, dude. Oh, that smells really nice. Check that out. That is some quality looking soap right there. Nice, man. Oh, that smells really good. I'm actually gonna use this at work. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna use that at work because I do shower at work. I think this is the candle. Ooh, look at that. Look at you, so fancy, my man. Nice, man. Look at that. The Dirty Murray 100% soy candle and it is rosemary lavender. Oh man, that smells good. Ooh, that smells really good. All right, what do we have in here? Uh-oh, uh-oh, I see some Hot Wheels race teams. And my man sent it back. You didn't have to send it back, my man. <laughs> Oh, the Twin Mill Killer. Well, you did your best, buddy. You actually held your own for a while and you got eliminated. But man, you didn't have to send it back. I actually sent this for you to keep. But that's all right. I'll send you another one, another contender. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. You did good, my friend. Don't be too down on yourself. You actually held your own for a while. Uh, looks like we got some, ooh, oh, no way. Oh my god, I, I know which one that is, and that's a hard to find one right there. I was actually just trying to get my hands on this one from a buddy of mine. Look at this. Oh man, look at that, guys. It's the red enamel with the yellow stripes, and check this out, it actually has real riders on it. Look at that. It's missing the front screen, but that is a-okay. Look at this, guys. Now, I do not have this one because, like I said, it is one of the first releases of the 427, especially in this color setup. Um, I'll have the info on the screen, but look at that. I've never seen the one with real riders on it. Oh, man, that is nice. Yeah, I don't even want to mess this up because it's one of those legendary colors for this tooling. I might clean it up. But man, ah, that is cool. Let's see, what do we got right here? Oh, man. Look at this. It's the Camaro race car. Look at that. Oh, that is sweet. So yeah, he said there's three variations. Which one's the one I have down here? Um, is it that one? Is it? Is it supposed to be this one? Oh, I guess so. You got the collector number 242. But it is completely different. Like that blue metallic's way different. The... Look at that. Oh man, so these ones are actually different. These are nice blue metallics. So check it out though. You got the five spokes and the saw blades on one. And then this one right here, this 93 Camaro is a little bit different. So let's see, let's compare the two so you have a darker blue metallic versus the light blue the older hot wheels flame versus the newer looking different numbers and it looks like you have some type of 23 tampo on there 25 i don't know this one doesn't have it i just want to know what's the difference between the 93 camaro and camaro race car Oh, that is freaking cool, man. I'm definitely gonna have the info up on the screen so you guys can see 
what the difference between the 93 Camaro versus Camaro race car. Same collector number, just different cards and the tooling and the car itself is a different shade of blue, different numbers. Um, God, that is interesting. Very interesting. But this Shelby, the soap and the candle smell great. So Brandon, thank you so much for sending me these. I am gonna take these to work. But these cars right here, guys, freaking awesome. And we still have one more package to go, guys. This is from Bruce Zolo, but you're gonna have to stay tuned for episode two to see what is in that one, guys. So I definitely appreciate you tuning in. A huge thanks to David and Brandon for sending what they sent. Kingnut, I will meet up with you to give you your package and so we can split up these castings. I will have it on camera if I can. Awesome packages, guys. I cannot thank you enough. Um, so stay tuned, like I said, to episode two. That'll be up either tomorrow um, or whenever I can. But bear with me, guys. These videos are pretty long and I don't wanna really make them too long for you guys. Um, so that is all I got. Again, thank you so much for sending what you sent. I definitely appreciate you. And until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.